right, first set of meal prep. Boom. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I am sharing with you guys a meal prep video. So it is actually, I meant to meal prep over the weekend and that just didn't happen. My husband and I found other things to do around the house. We enjoyed some time in front of the TV as well and I just did not get in the kitchen much. So I, it is Monday and I am going to spend as often as I can here in the kitchen getting some things done and you guys should be seeing this the next day on Tuesday. So typically I don't share a meal prep video the very next day because the editing can be a little bit time consuming. So we're gonna see how we can get it all done, but I do have a pretty big list. Again, we'll see if I can get through all of it. Sometimes in my meal prep videos, I share exactly how I meal prep. I start with dog food most of the time, and then I end with dog food also because I put it in the crock pot and it takes all day. And then sometimes I share one item at a time, if you know what I mean. So I'll share the dog food all together. I'll share like cookies all together, things that I'm baking. I'll wait and put those clips together if you guys know what I mean. But today I'm just gonna take you along, show you guys how I'm doing things, when I'm doing things. So some of the items might be broken apart. <laughs> if you understand, if you know what I mean. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. It really lets you see how I work in the kitchen versus just putting all of it together. We are going to jump right in, and of course, we're starting with dog food. Okay, so like always, whenever I need to make dog food, we start with that. So this time I'm using my Instant Pot because I am using my crock pot today for dinner. <laughs> and this is actually faster. Um, it only takes about five minutes of cooking time. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Instant Pot. I figured I would share something a little different. So in here, I do have my one cup of water. You need liquid for your Instant Pot or pressure cooker to come to pressure. I do have my chicken sitting on a trivet. I don't want it to sit on the bottom of the pot. It might burn. I have six chicken breasts in here and that feeds my dogs for about a week. So about seven days. So I've got that in here. I'm gonna get my lid on, make sure it is sealing. I just washed it, so we just used it last night. So it's still got a little bit of water on there. So make sure it is sealing, and then we're only going to cook it. I'm gonna press manual. It really depends on what Instant Pot you guys have. A lot of people just have the pressure cook button. The manual just automatically puts it on high pressure. So instead of pressing pressure and adjusting to low or high, the manual just already goes to high, and then I wanna go to five minutes. So it's gonna take maybe 15, 10, 15 to come to pressure, and then it's gonna cook for five, and then I'm going to let it do that means it's gonna start coming to pressure. Um, and then after my five minute timer is up, the Instant Pot automatically goes to the keep warm function and the pressure will start releasing naturally. And what that means for any of you guys are, who are new is you can release the pressure quickly by turning the knob from sealing to venting and this part right here, a bunch of steam will car start coming out and that will release the pressure and as soon as that little button looks like that again where it's down, it means you can open the lid. However, since I'm cooking chicken, I want it to cook a little bit longer. So when my five minute timer is up, I'm gonna leave it set up just like this. This knob is gonna be up here, you guys are gonna see, and I'm gonna let the pressure release naturally which should take about 15 minutes. So. This is still a longer process because I'm just gonna let it sit and forget about it for a while, but a lot quicker <laughs> than the crock pot. Okay guys, so and next up, and don't mind, like I have a bunch of stuff all over <laughs> my counters because uh, we just did a pretty big, a bigger sized haul and got a lot of stuff. So I am going to make both of these packages of muffins that we've had for a little while. And um, we're definitely low on the breakfast foods. We're almost out of cereal. Um, I do have banana pancakes in the freezer, but we don't have anything else. We're out of kolaches, which my kids like to have, um, along with some other items. So I'm gonna go ahead and make both of these, keep them out for a couple days, and then we'll put the rest in the freezer and 
how we eat those is I just take them out in the morning and I zap them in the microwave for like maybe 15 seconds and then they're good to go for the kids. So I've got one package of strawberry cheesecake muffin mix and then one package of blueberry and these mixes only take milk. So I'm gonna make one at a time. I'm gonna use the same bowl put them in my pan. I only have one, this is so old, <laughs> this muffin tin. I've only got one muffin tin, but I do have this other pan that is pretty much the same. It's just gonna leave these little marks on, I think these are like mini, I think this is like a mini bunch. I don't remember what it is, I got it a while ago. So I'm gonna use both of those, mix those up with half a cup of milk in each package and get them in my 400 degree oven. And I don't think they take that long. They take 14 to 16 minutes, so I'll probably put them in for 15 minutes and check them and see how they look. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright These are all made up. Now I just need to pop them in the oven and I fill these a little bit more. <laughs> I should have started with um, the bottom, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in. I do wanna go ahead and pick up another set. I don't know where the, the three random ones I have, where those came from, but I did order these online and I love, on Amazon actually, and I love using them. I just need to get myself another pack of 12. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. All right guys, so it's actually been a little bit, um, you can see almost 30 minutes past the cook time on here. I was loading the dishwasher, cleaning, the muffins still have 10 minutes left. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and there shouldn't be any pressure, so I should be able to turn this to venting and nothing come out because my knob is already down. Yep, so we can open our pot, our lid, and the chicken is definitely done so I definitely recommend having an extra inner pot for your pressure cooker uh, because especially for this type of instance so I've got my chicken cooking I'm gonna go ahead and take this out I'm gonna drain the water put the chicken back in this pot and shred it with this easy shredding hack if you guys haven't seen this um, you're definitely missing out so I'm going to use my hand mixer to shred my chicken chicken it's gonna take seconds and it's going to be done and meanwhile i'm going to have my rice cooking in my instant pot to add to the dog food mixture later on so i've got my rice in here and what i have in here is two cups of rice and three cups of water i'm going to turn my instant pot off because i don't need it to keep warm anymore it has this handy dandy rice button so i'm just going to oh i almost forgot to close the lid what am I doing? <laughs> Close the lid, make sure it is sealing. And my pot has this handy dandy rice button. So that just puts it on low pressure for 12 minutes. So if you don't have that button, just press your pressure button, adjust the pressure to low, and then move the time up or down to 12 minutes. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. Okay, muffins are done, so they are going to cool off. And I've got everything out for the next item I'm gonna meal prep. And this is a dinner that we're gonna have later on in the week, maybe on Friday. I might actually switch things up and have this tomorrow and just keep it in the refrigerator and not even bake it, just have everything mixed up. But I'll have this recipe linked in the description box. I shared it in my meal in my grocery haul on Saturday that was linked as well. So you guys might've already seen this recipe, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this made up because all I have to do is cook the sausage, the breakfast sausage, and then mix everything in a casserole dish. And then you can either put it in the refrigerator and bake it later on, either like that same day just later on or the next day. I wouldn't keep it in the fridge too long. Um, but you could, this is a freezer meal as well. You could bake it. I just haven't decided if I'm gonna do that yet, but you could bake it and then put it in your freezer and then pull it out later on. So I, I might end up doing that. That way it's not sitting in the fridge and I don't have to move around my meal plan. I might go ahead and make this completely bake it so you guys can see what it looks like. And then we have breakfast for dinner on our meal plan for Friday. So I might just wait, put it in the freezer and pull it out on Friday and that way it's already made. I just had to put it back in the oven for like 40 minutes at a low temperature and cook it until it's nice and bubbly. So first things first, I do need to go ahead and cook the breakfast sausage. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Okay, my sausage is cooked up, but before I go any further with that recipe, my rice is done. I got it out of this pot, got it in here with my chicken, and then I'm going to open up a can of pumpkin. This is really good for your dog's um, skin, for their coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this, get it in here, mix all this together, and I'm not gonna do any veggies this time. Um, I'm just gonna do the chicken, the rice, and the pumpkin. So. Once I get that all mixed up, that will be ready for my dogs to eat for dinner for this week. Okay, so those chicken breasts were actually larger than I thought um, because this is the container that I typically use for the dog's food and it lasts me about a week. So I got this one filled up, filled, and then I noticed that I had plenty more in the bowl. So I think because of the um, bigger jar of pumpkin and the rice and everything that it did make a lot. If I added veggies, this definitely, I would have been able to stretch this more. Um, but since I didn't, it's gonna last me a week. And then this, will last me a week, I'll just give them a little bit smaller portion, so it'll be two weeks before I need to make their food again. Oh, and I figured I'd go ahead and mention this before I get questions in the comments. Um, I love these little bag holders, and I forget about them when I'm making the dog food and putting them in the bags, um, because typically I pull these out when I'm focusing on freezer meals, because these, like you guys saw, hold the bag, you don't have to hold the bag, have more than you know one hand, and I just use my other hand to scoop the dog food into the bowl and this holds, I mean it's a bag holder, holds your bag for you. So I purchased these off of Amazon and they're always linked in my Amazon store which is in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Okay, so I started with my hair down <laughs> and it always ends up going up because of the stove and the oven. It is hot in my kitchen. So I am actually going to try something new with my cheese. I need some cheese for the breakfast casserole. So, I have already cut up um, a block this size of Colby Jack cheese right here. I cut it lengthwise and then half and then length again to make it fit in my little processor here. See? So, um, I am going to attempt to use my food processor, um, which I got, I got for my birthday or Christmas. I don't remember which one, I think Christmas. Um, it is the Pioneer Woman, I love her stuff, it just looks pretty. So I got that, um, and you can find any of the Pioneer Woman stuff at Walmart, that's where all of my stuff comes from. So hopefully this works, because if you guys watched my last meal prep video, I am going to be donating that uh, cheese grinder thing that I got previously. So wish me luck on this. What? All right, you guys sold me, so. 
yay food processor um, I will still use my hand grater though when I'm just doing a small amount but when I am prepping like this and I'm doing a bunch this is fantastic so yay all right um, I am going to shred the rest of this but first I do want to go ahead and finish up this breakfast recipe since I do have enough of the cheese to put in that so I need one and a half cups so I'm gonna go ahead and use my little cup scoop that out and we will get our casserole together I am going to bake it I've already got my oven preheated so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then we will come back and shred the rest of our cheeses for other dishes and things this week oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar another glass and i am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything i like the way you're thinking i don't really care about the music on So part of meal prepping is dirtying a lot of dishes. Um, I'm done with all the cheese and this had to bake for an hour to 75 minutes. So I did put it in at an hour for an hour and it's been 20 minutes. So it still has 40 minutes left. So that's still cooking. Um, but before I start doing anything else, I don't want this to be like uncontrollable by the end of the day so I'm gonna go ahead and load up what I can start that and hand wash the rest and that way my sink is nice and empty going forward when I start prepping some more items because I still have quite a few things on my list okay hand wash dishes dishwasher is going and the breakfast casserole is done and it smells so good I'm gonna have a hard time putting this in the freezer and waiting <laughs> to eat it but that's what needs to happen so it smells really good I cannot wait to eat this possibly on Friday maybe earlier but I am gonna let it cool completely so I'm just gonna scooch it back I might move it to another counter because it is already lunchtime I actually took a little break um, I posted something on Facebook I do have a lemonade mom Facebook group I'm not super active on it but I shared something on there that I just I needed to take a break from in the kitchen for a little bit and focus on that so I need to start dinner because it is lunchtime so it's about 12 45 
So I'm gonna bring the crock pot over here, possibly move this over there and get dinner going. Okay guys, so tonight for dinner, I figured I would go ahead and share since we're using the crock pot. This is a freezer meal that I cooked and then prepped another one a little while ago. So I'll have that video linked down below and up in the I cards. Um, but this is crock pot beef ragu. So we're gonna serve this over noodles and then I am going to make a salad tonight. Um, so you guys won't see what this ends up looking like, but I have made this before. So you'll, you can see what the finished product looks like in that video. All right, guys, so we are getting into the afternoon. I have, like I mentioned, I posted something on Facebook and I've just been watching things that I need to stay away from right now because it's bringing my mood down. I'm gonna make myself a juice. Mark and I, my husband, we actually had a juicer. I think it was, it might've been like the Ninja brand or something, but we had a juicer years ago. Um, he actually did a juice cleanse and we loved using it. And then we had the girls, the twins, and we just didn't use it. It was too time consuming. We got off of that, started eating really bad. You know, all the things when you got your hands full. So we got rid of it. This company reached out and asked me if they could send me their masticating juicer. And I said, yes, please. I loved creating juices and making them. It's got a couple different recipes on the side. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a juice and then sit down and relax for a little bit and then we'll get back into the kitchen <laughs> later on. But I wanted to go ahead and open this up with you guys. This is not sponsored. They did not pay me to say anything. I will show you guys how it works, let you know my true thoughts on it. Um, this is not the kind that I've owned in the past, but I figured I would go ahead and, because they did send this to me for free, I did not have to pay for it. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. I will have the link down below. I'll check and see if I can get a discount, discount code of any kind for you guys, but Let's go ahead and open this up and see how it works. All right, here is the juicer, all the parts that came with it. It's actually bigger than I thought. So our other one looked more like a blender. Um, it was upright and it had a huge cup in it and all of that good stuff. So this one's definitely different. So like all appliances, it came with a little booklet and I'm gonna have to read this <laughs> and figure out how to work it and then I will show you guys the juice that I'm gonna make and um, how it works and all of that once I do a little reading up and learning how to use it. Okay guys, here's my meal prep list. <laughs> I feel like I'm not even halfway done, but I have my whole juice recipe in here which makes it seem like a lot more. So I am using, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, um, and this is just something that I looked up. I looked up a lot of juicing recipes and this one sounded really, really good. So. I'm gonna be using six kale leaves, one cup of spinach, 12 strawberries, two green apples, one lime, and a handful of mint. And we'll see how much that makes. I feel like I should cut that in half. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that in half. Since Mark's not home, I don't have anybody else. I mean, the kids might try it, but I don't wanna to make too much and them not drink it. So I'm gonna cut that in half. But if you guys have any really good juice recipes, there's tons out there. I have several saved already to try, but if you have a favorite, let me know that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this produce ready and then I'll take you guys over to the juicer and show you how it works. All right, so this was definitely different um, than using the juicer that we had in the past. This one, actually, um, on the box, it says it is 99% pulp-free. So I kind of love that because I am definitely a pulp-free person, but here's the pulp that came out of that. So in the beginning, I thought that the juice was gonna go in here um, because it doesn't really say that in the booklet. Not that I read. I, I ran through it pretty quickly though, so I could have missed it. But the juice comes out in here. Um, I did end up making the full batch because my oldest daughter Paige was in here and she asked if um, she could try some too. So I did go ahead and make the full batch. So this is not something that you guys saw the 
ingredients that I used. Um, this is really if you're trying to get like that extra fruit and veggie into you, um, which like I said, we've done juicing in the past and it's just a great way to get the healthier items in. So I'm just using a chopstick <laughs> to mix this up and then I'm gonna pour Paige and myself a glass and I will let you guys know what we think. But pretty easy, I did um, prep the produce a little bit more than I probably needed to, but this really did a great job. So all the juice got squeezed out and then the rinds and the pulp and all that went through this section and came out over here. So there's actually a little bit more juice that came out. I would probably let this sit and run for a little bit longer just to make sure you're getting all of it, but it does look pretty clean. Um, I mean, not clean, it's dirty, I need to wash it, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot left in there. I think everybody, everything went to where it was supposed to go. So let me go ahead and dole this out for us. All right, you guys, so. This is rough. <laughs> Nothing against the juicer, but I am definitely a sweet drink kind of girl. On the flip side, if you do not eat a lot of veggies, fruit, if you don't get a lot of produce in your diet, this is an easy way to do it because you could just suck it down. One thing, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I need mine to be a little bit more cold. I did add some ice, but it's not cold enough. Um, I can really taste the lime. Like it's almost too tart. Maybe I should have used red apples instead of green apples. Again, I just saw that recipe mixture online and figured, hey, that sounds good. Strawberries, apples, and then the green, good stuff for you. Not my favorite, but like I said, if you guys have a really good juice recipe, let me know down below because I'd love to try it out. But this is definitely a way to get more of the healthy foods into my body because I don't just eat kale and spinach and all that stuff. <laughs> so I can deal with drinking this real quick to get the goodness in my body. I unloaded, <laughs> loaded the dishwasher. I hand washed the juicing parts or the juicer parts. And now um, it is a little after 4.30 and my dogs are hungry. You might hear them bark here in a second. So I figured I would go ahead and take this opportunity to share what I actually do for the dogs. So they still get their dry food. They get one cup in the morning and one cup at night. I used to do two cups at night but now we're supplementing the fresh food, which is just a little better and healthier for them and easier on their stomachs because my dogs are over 10 years old. So um, this isn't like super necessary for puppies, but always, always, always check with your veterinarian. Um, I've been in contact with ours and this is just what's been working for my dog. So it's not um, necessarily going to work for your dogs. You'd need to get an expert opinion. I'm just sharing what I do for mine. So I do have one cup of dry food in each of their bowls and um, this is the Costco Kirkland Signature brand, the red bag. I always forget what meat that is, but it's the red bag. It doesn't have any extra fillers in it or anything like that. Um, so that's the dry food that they eat. And then I just do, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Uh, I can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get their food scooped out because I don't have the room to set up the camera right here and then I'll show you guys after. Okay, so here is their dog food. I did about two scoops and then I just kind of break it apart and mix it up a little bit into their dry food. And this is what they eat. And <laughs> we've got a towel out because it's been rainy the last few days and the younger three are outside playing in their bathing suit. But the dogs always, now they're really waiting for me, but they always wait right there by the door, slobbering on the glass for their dinner. So let me go ahead and feed them their dinner. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I always, get questions on how I um, give them this dog food that I make them each week. So this meal prep is definitely turning into a more vlog style, which I hope you guys are okay with. So it is now six o'clock, it's dinner time. I have been chilling for the past hour because I had been in the kitchen all day. My feet were starting to hurt, so I took a little break, but now I'm back in the kitchen and depending on what I get done tonight after dinner, I might take this into tomorrow and then post this on Wednesday instead of Tuesday because I really do want to try to finish off my list and I wanted to share all of that with y'all. So sometimes I get it all done one day, sometimes I don't. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and since dinner is considered meal prep, like it's all considered meal prep, um, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys that. So I've got my beef ragu in the crock pot still. Um, woo, that is hot. Uh, so I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna shred it at the very, very end. So I 
I started shredding it and then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to. I'm gonna let that cook more, um, let the meat get super, super tender. So that's gonna continue cooking until we are completely ready to eat. Um, when I prepped the first one, when I cooked the first one and I prepped this for the freezer, I went ahead and bought two of these. That way I knew I would already have it on hand. So this has been in my pantry for a long time this egg pasta. So I've got some water over here, salted, waiting to come to a boil so I can cook my noodles. But we're gonna have just basic salad on the side. I have a bunch of extras that I'm gonna pull out to go with it, you guys will see that. But I picked up this salad mix, organic romaine, baby red butter, and arugula blend. So it's already been washed, I'm just gonna open it up, toss it in my bowl. I'm going to cut up a cucumber, and then I am going to rinse these tomatoes off and probably cut up um, just half of this container and add it into the salad. So we're gonna go ahead and get the salad prepped and ready to go with dinner. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will Okay guys, so dinner is ready. Here is the beef ragu with the meat all or the beef all shredded up yum we've got our noodles here so the soy sauce is sitting here because bryce and rose are not going to have this they just don't like this type of stuff but they love noodles with soy sauce on them <laughs> so that's what they're gonna have here's our salad setup oh and i forgot the cottage cheese so i need to pull the cottage cheese out but this is our typical sides whenever we have them cheese sunflower seeds, bacon crumbles, croutons, and then two different dressings for everybody to pick from, ranch and the Olive Garden. And then I already showed you guys a salad. It was just that mix with the cucumber and tomato. Okay guys, dinner is over and we've got another spread going on here. We are going to make dessert. This is what the water I'm about to drink. <laughs> um, so I picked this up a little while ago. It's a cookie brownie bars mix. So it has two mixes in here. It has a brownie mix and a cookie mix. And you're basically just mixing up the brownie mix with some oil and an egg and water. And you're spreading that on the bottom. And then you're making the cookie mix, which just needs water and butter. And we're gonna drop that like little cookies on top of the brownie batter. And then we're gonna bake it for, how long are we gonna bake this for? We're gonna bake it, ooh, for a little while. So we're using a bigger pan. Um, so like 27 to 32 minutes it says. I know that's too small for y'all. But we are gonna make those and I have a little helper. She keeps waving hi, hi. off the camera. <laughs> and yeah, she's in her bathing suit because they were outside playing with water earlier. <laughs> so you're gonna help me yep. mix everything up mm -hmm. and lick the beaters? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Yeah, I knew it. All right. So we're gonna have to mix all this up and then I will show you guys the batter and then what they look like after we bake them. All right, you guys, don't pay attention to the mess that is my oven. I know it needs to be cleaned. I just haven't made the time for it yet. Um, it still works great even though it's dirty. <laughs> but there it is before it bakes up. And this actually takes a while. This is gonna take 27 minutes on the low end. I think it said like up to 34. So hopefully it turns out delicious. Okay guys, so while the dessert bakes, I'm gonna go ahead and knock another item off my list, um, just so there's less that I need to do tomorrow, and that is to hard boil some eggs. I actually have not hard boiled eggs, which used to be on the weekly um, prep of mine that I used to do every weekend. I have not done it in several weeks, so I know my kids are gonna love having some hard boiled eggs this coming week to snack on, or the remainder of this week since it's already Monday. So I've got my trivet in my Instant Pot, one cup of water. Again, pressure cookers need some kind of liquid for it to come to pressure, so I just use water, and then I'm gonna get this whole dozen, all 12 of the eggs in my pot. I've got all of my eggs in there. Closing the lid, always sealing when you're cooking in your Instant Pot. 
And then I am going to cook mine manual, which again, high pressure, for three minutes. Once that three minutes is up, I'm going to let the pressure release naturally for a few minutes. And then I'm gonna take them out and put them in an ice bath. Okay, dessert is almost done. It's got a few more minutes and I just put the eggs in my ice bath and I'm gonna let these sit in here for a few minutes, probably about five. And then they should be super easy to peel. My eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. dishwasher is running for the third time today and we still have dishes which I will have to tackle those in the morning because they're staying there all right you guys this is everything I was able to accomplish for today minus the juice which was not a fail but we drank so I don't have that to share with you guys but this is everything um, going into this week so we've got the muffins, um, and I always get questions where my containers are from, so if I remember, I will tell you. This is from the Dollar Tree, and it works fantastic. These are the bars that I cut, but I'm still letting them cool off a little bit before we have dessert, and this casserole dish I found in the clearance section at Target. All right, got my two bags of cheese shredded and a good portion of this block of cheese is in the breakfast casserole. I got my eggs hard boiled, and this container is from the Dollar Tree. This container is a Systema, so these are sold on Amazon. I'll try to find this one and link it, but they're sold at Walmart as well. So this is the dog food. You can see the little bit missing from it for tonight's dinner. And then I've got a little bit to freeze as well. And then here is the, I should have opened this the casserole, which we are gonna have tomorrow. So I'm not even gonna put this, look at all the condensation dripping off of that. I'm not even gonna put this in the freezer. I'm gonna leave it in the fridge, and then tomorrow, I will put this back in the oven at like 350 and just keep an eye on it. Um, it just needs to heat through and get all nice and bubbly. I might throw a little bit of extra shredded cheese on top, um, and we will have this for dinner tomorrow instead of what I had planned, and I will just swap what I had planned um, for Friday. So. That's everything that I got done today, but you guys will see me again tomorrow because I'm gonna try to get the rest of my list done. Okay, so we are continuing meal prepping, but it is an extra day later. So you guys are gonna see this video the following week. Um, just because of everything that's been going on, I really focused my time on other issues yesterday instead of getting back in the kitchen. So it is now Wednesday. And if you guys are, I would love for you guys to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already, because I do share a lot of things outside of YouTube over there. And I feel like I connect with you guys um, more on a daily basis over there. So if you guys are not already following me, I would love for you guys to hang out with me over on Instagram as well. So we're going to continue with some more meal prep and it is actually already lunchtime. I had to do a little bit of work this morning and I am just now getting back in the kitchen. So we're gonna start with one item that I'm making to go with the kids' lunches, but I'm making a bigger batch or like a full batch. They're not gonna eat the whole thing for lunch. So this is something that you could easily prep one day and add here and there to the kids' snack time lunches throughout the week. Okay, so for this, you only need two ingredients, Nutella and some kind of dough. I'm using this crescent roll that I've had in my refrigerator forever, and actually, I don't think it expires until July. Nope, but I saw it in there and I was like, yes, that's something that I can make a big batch. There's eight in here. I have three younger kids, so this will feed them for two times, and then there'll be a couple extra left over. So, all I do, and I will show you guys, is I unroll each crescent one at a time, and I spread it with Nutella, and then I roll it back up and put it on a pan. I have already sprayed this just to help with sticking, and then I just follow the instructions on the package. So I'm gonna heat the oven to 375, and then it says bake nine to 12 minutes, so I'll probably put it in for 10 minutes and see what that looks like, but I don't make this all the time, but I have made it in the past, and the kids love it. 
trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Okay, so I still have some more produce that I want to prep, but this is what I was able to get done while these were cooking. So this is what the Nutella crescent rolls look like when they're done. If you guys can hear laundry going in the background, it's a laundry day. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure you can hear the washing machine spinning all the water out. So we've got that. And then I am just gonna leave all the produce, all the fruit out so the kids can kind of pick what they want to go with their lunch. I'm gonna pull a few more things out. We don't have any more cucumbers, we already ate those, but we have some carrots um, and then the hard boiled egg. So they're just gonna have like a snacky plate for lunch today, but this is why I love meal prepping. We did cut up the watermelon. If you guys watched my grocery haul, you know all the produce that we have. And this is what is left. We did end up having that breakfast casserole yesterday for dinner and then I just cut up the watermelon to go with it. So. I'm gonna get their lunch made and I'm gonna sit down and eat lunch and then we'll get back in the kitchen and do some more prep. Give me my heart back somebody stole it and put it in your head. Give me my heart back somebody stole it and put it in your head. Give me my heart back somebody stole it. Okay, so I it's actually several days later and I am sitting down to edit the meal prep and for some reason my camera <laughs> did not, either I totally forgot to press record or I don't know what happened, but I used two cameras when I meal prep and none of them had any of the other things that I prepped. So that's it. However, the video is already like 45 minutes long. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, hanging out with me in the kitchen over the course of the two days that I was in there prepping some stuff for the week. I kind of brought you along vlog style, shared dinner, all that good stuff. So give this video a big thumbs up if you guys love meal preps. I enjoy meal prepping for my family. Some days I get it all done in one day um, and then half the other half of the time, it's like 50-50. The other half, I just do a little bit here and there every single day during the week, something new every day to prep myself for the next day or for later on in the day. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. I also wanted to mention, um, I've been more active obviously on Instagram. That is just a social media outlet that you get on pretty much daily and it's quick, the stories. So versus here on YouTube where you make a video, you edit it, it's a little bit more time consuming. So I've been sharing a lot more over there. I would love for you guys to follow me. Last week was when I filmed this meal prep video and that was when everything um, kind of just 
happened and I was doing a lot of research and educating my children and myself on the whole matter. So this video, and I know I didn't say it anywhere else, but I really wanted to spend some time and talk to my husband and see what we wanted to do moving forward. So I think we are gonna start um, utilizing this channel, just a video here and there for donation purposes. So this video, if you guys have watched it this far, um, all the revenue for this video, for the rest of this week, um, we are going to donate that to the Black Lives Matter Global Network. So since I either lost that footage or I don't know, I figured I would take this opportunity to redo the outro and be able to donate on this video as well instead of just on Friday. So I will be posting um, sometime early next week once I have the number. Sometimes you, YouTube revenue is like behind one or two days. So as soon as I know exactly what it was for this video for the rest of this week, then I will post that on my community tab here or over on Instagram just to show you guys what we ended up at. And then I'm also going to do it on the video that's posting Friday. So two videos this week. This meal prep is gonna go out first just because I got the whole editing and all of that done first. And then Friday is going to be my um, like food tour. Everywhere in my house that I have food, I'm showing you guys what it looked like before I went to the store and what it looks like after I go to the store um, and how I kind of, sort of, organize it. I really didn't. <laughs> I just kind of put things in there. But you guys will see that on Friday. In that video, the donations are actually going to a different organization and I will talk about that in that video. So again, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. One thing that helps um, is if you guys watch this video, let the ads run. Again, that just gets the donations higher and higher and I would love to be able to donate a substantial amount. So I hope you guys share this video also letting them know that we are going to be donating. It's totally free for you guys to do. Um, there's a ton of other YouTubers who are out there doing that and it's again it's free for you guys to just watch the video, let the ads run and that way we can donate more. If you guys are new I would love for you to subscribe and join my community. I share a lot of mommy related content, me in the kitchen, shopping hauls, all fun stuff here, and I would love to have you. So I will see you guys on Friday, taking a peek inside my pantry, my fridge, and my freezer. All right, I'll see you guys in that video. Bye.